Hello Aries, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead, my friends. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you. If you are brand, brand new and you've never been here before, welcome to you. And I hope you'll let me know in the comments that you are new. We're kind of a little bit of a community around here. We're growing into that. And if you're interested in being in the comments, we like to do that with each other there. And I like to be in the comments as well. If you are somebody who is always clicking here, if you are someone who is clicking and liking and uh, and um, sharing this video, uh, subscribing, thank you so much for doing that. I do appreciate you always. So we are going to look at some oracles as I do. I like to, if you've never been here before, I like to combine the oracles with the tarot. So we're going to look at some oracles, then we're going to look at some tarot. We have a new deck alert that is cos Cosmic Insights that we'll be using today. It is a little bit more dramatic than I'm used to, but you know, it's been doing good so far. So far, so good and all the other reads. So let's find out what's coming up for you, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter is what I read for. Here we go. Let's take a look at you, Aries. I say fire family because I'm a Sag rising, so I'm kind of right in there. It's my fire day too. <laughs> Here we go. Let's talk about you, Aries. What's coming up for Aries, please? Give us some energy for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Whenever you find this reading, Aries, it's always going to be for the week ahead, no matter if that's this week, next week, or next year. All right, they'll be back. Aries, it looks like somebody's coming back round for you here. And uh, it says, expect to hear from them soon. Whoever them is for you, take it as it resonates. We have a liar. Okay, so be careful. Um, uh, be careful of someone who's sneaky. So it says liar, sneaky, and liars aren't really the same thing, but kind of are, you know. Um, I don't like to call anybody out and out liar because I think that a lot of people are just not used to being authentic, and that's why they don't like to divulge everything. They could be doing shady shit, though. I'm just saying. It could be. This person that's coming back could be someone that you don't trust, for sure. One more. We have intimacy, and it does say sexual chemistry and reminiscing. So Aries, that's the thing. It feels like this person comes back into your life and they are adorable. They are someone who you have a hard time resisting their energy. Uh, they are someone who is, yeah, your kryptonite, I think. You, you, uh, you let them back in. I feel like you have had some sort of a physical relationship with them because it is indicating here that there is some sort of chemistry so it does feel like that whenever this person pops back up in your life in your life automatically you go, you go into this thought pattern of remembering it seems like here it says reminiscing right so remembering what it was like to be with them remembering this this uh chemistry that you had with them and it's hard to get them out of your mind and I think in that it, it you you kind of bring them back with your uh, manifestation of that right whatever we whatever we are thinking does eventually come to life all right we are looking at the divine goddess oracle We've got spread your wings. It says confidence that leads to freedom and growth. And then we have wisdom. It says knowledge gained through experience uh, or from a wise counselor. So it feels like since you've seen this person, the last time you saw this person, you've grown quite a lot in wisdom. And it feels like now you have more confidence. And because you've gone through all of this growth, it says confidence that leads to freedom and growth. So it feels like you have changed quite a bit since this person has been around and if they were somebody who you couldn't trust or you felt they were lying to you back there I'm going to say they haven't changed much I feel like you're the one that's been doing all of the growing here Aries we do have peace and I think that's what you want I'm going to say when this person comes back into your life they kind of you know everything gets thrown in the air and you kind of watch all the pieces land that's what it feels like I'm I'm watching somebody scoop up a uh, confetti off the floor like a it looks like it is a, a a dance floor for a wedding or something like that that's what charlie is showing me charlie is my guide he's showing me picking it up and throwing it in the air it's almost like it's a repeat somebody wants to recreate the excitement because once the confetti comes down it's exciting but once it falls to the ground the only way you can get it to fly again is by picking up and trying again so i feel like somebody here wants to try and recreate the excitement or the chemistry that you had with them. Um, it says peace and contentment is coming to you. And I feel like you that you are in wisdom and peace, that you're doing your own thing, you're getting your confidence, you feel free to grow. But I feel like when this person comes back, they remind you of back there. And when we grow and move forward in wisdom, we, don't, we grow out of that vibration. So it feels like somebody's coming back from an old vibration, my friend. We do have realignment. Shift your perspective for a gain 
gained of sen for uh, for a gained sense of clarity. So I feel like you've gone through some sort of a realignment. You've gained wisdom. You're now at peace. You're you're doing the things that you want to do, spreading your wings and trying new things in this growth and freedom that you've got. This confidence here. Do we look at the bottom? Pets. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. So you might have pets or they might have pets. That might be a little bit of um, how you might know who they are. All right. Oh, what's this one? No, that's not the one we were using. Hang on. Hang on. Got the wrong deck. Where is it? There it is. Hang on. All right. I'll leave this here. So we're just going to take one of these and uh, we'll find, give it a little bit more energy and then we'll go with tarot here, Aries. And Aries, if you are interested in a private read, there is a sale on right now, 10% off of all of my readings. Please look below this video, click on more. You'll find a code there that you can take over to Wizio. You will get your 10% off of whatever prices are posted there and uh, on checkout. And if you're interested in that, uh, that will be going on until the 25th of February. All right. Here we go, another four days. Any of my services, 10% off. One more card for Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We have freedom. Look, it says freedom. It says spread your wings here. This card here, it indicates freedom as well. So I feel like that once you got rid of this person, or maybe you just left their vibration, that you felt a sense of freedom. It does say here, I... I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So it does feel like you had to leave, to grow, to get some peace, or you had to disconnect from this person. Maybe they still live around you. Maybe you didn't leave anywhere. Maybe it was just a disconnection. But it looks like you had to do it in order to feel free enough to do whatever you wanted to do. In order to spread your wings, you had to leave that vibration or that relationship or that job taken as it resonates. Let's look at some tarot. Right. Tell me about Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the week ahead. Now, this uh, this energy is for the week ahead, so that means the week ahead is the last three days of February and the couple days of March. And then I'm going to put down a card at the end here, and we're going to look at the second week of March. So I'd like to give you a little peek into uh, the, the week that's a little bit further to the week ahead. Hang on a second. I've got to make some room here. You guys don't see it here, but I have like this oracle tower going. <laughs> Eventually it's going to fall. <laughs> and uh, so far, the highest I've got it is up to 13 decks. <laughs> All right, just making some room. Here we go. <laughs> I push my luck. It's the Sagittarius in me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's my rising sign. <laughs> it causes all the trouble. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Come on, come on. Something feels like it's going to be hard to deal with here because things don't want us, these cards don't want to step in line today. <laughs> Tell me about um, Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the week ahead, what does Tarot have to say? We've got the Three of Cups. So yes, as we were saying here, it says they'll be back. And it feels like there's going to be some sort of reunion. Or if you decide not to do the reunion thing, it, this person for sure is coming back to ask you out or to ask you if they can meet with you somewhere. Um, it feels like it's a celebratory time. So it feels like you do like this person, but I think that you're sort of keeping them at arm's length. I wouldn't be surprised if the Seven of Wands shows up at some point. It feels like you're keeping them sort of at arm's length here. You're going to have a hard time making a decision about whether or not you're going to take them up on this invitation, this offer here. And I feel like this is telling me here that, that this whole thing sort of rocks your world a little bit. And I don't think it's it's something that you really need to worry about, but I do feel that there is a little bit of worry or maybe it interrupts your sleep. All of a sudden this person shows up again and because you've had this time with them where you have this really great chemistry and intimacy, I feel like uh, it starts to interrupt things, uh, not just your sleep. Uh, they may contact you at night, uh, sometime at night. Um, we do have the chariot here. So you and them could live a distance from each other. But I want to say to make sure before you move forward, before, because this is quick moving energy, right? The fastest in the deck. It's, it's quickly moving forward here, but keep your balance, right? You can see the person at the top of the chariot keeping their balance. And the balance here between the two horses is um, the feminine masculine energy. So it's like you're supposed to be energetically balanced 
balanced before you make any decisions about this person who is coming back. So yeah, so it feels like this person here is someone that you have had intimacy with. They could be someone that you consider was a soulmate. And look, Sometimes we meet soulmates that are not necessarily healed, and maybe this was one of them, but I feel like at some point you chose them and they chose you, and I feel like it's this person that's coming back for the reunion. They could be a Gemini or a Cancer. They don't have to be. We've got uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So I feel like you've moved on since this. You've moved on. Things have gotten to be, you've had a lot of changes in your life, I want to say. And I want to say that you've had a lot of changes. You've moved forward. There's freedom, spreading your wings. You've got a lot of wisdom, living in peace. And then the Wheel of Fortune comes here. And I feel like maybe you're either in a relationship with someone else here, or the Wheel is telling me that a lot has changed with you since the last time you saw this person, right? This is a lot of faded change. This is um, divine timing energy. And so I want to say that since since the time where they made you sad or upset or, you know, had you in this cycle, right? This is about this is about being in cycles that make you unhappy. So maybe they had you in a cycle that you had to break out of it. In order to do that, you had to change. So I feel like you have changed a lot since you've seen this person or talked to them. And we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. I want to say that that when you two broke up or it feels like one of you ran off. Like I want to say like it feels like one of you, like maybe you pulled out of their vibration or maybe they took off and somebody here is not clear on why this ended and not clear on why we didn't get and didn't get to talk about it or maybe that it was moving forward too quickly. It feels like you have moved forward since then, but you still want clarity on the situation. Let's put down one card for the second week of March here. Tell me about the second week of March. We've got the Eight of Cups. All right, so we'll get to that in a minute talk about that in a moment until then we're going to look at the lovers and the three of cups so there is somebody here coming in they do want to go out with you they do want some sort of a happy kind of um they want to have a happy kind of get together maybe they're they're saying to you you know i'm coming in for a wedding do you want to come to the wedding with me um it could be a celebration um, but it feels like it's a it's an exciting thing i don't think that you're that you feel terrible about them coming uh toward you here but i think that the one thing that they don't realize is you're not accepting any cups so it feels like this person may be coming in to take you out party do something right the three cups is here right and uh, what they don't realize is that you're not really taking any offers right now whether you are with someone or not i don't feel like you're taking any offers i feel like you might take this person up on their offer because maybe you've been bored right that's sort of redundant energy my emotional energy is kind of stuck and stagnant i haven't been doing anything or going anywhere we do have the page of pentacles and so i feel that this person who is coming back that they are kind of expecting that this is going to be a new beginning that something is going to materialize with you in the 3d it does feel like somebody is here uh, feeling very confident and knowing their worth. And um, it, it also does feel like, be careful, because this person might try and manipulate you um, into a new beginning here. And I know you're not easily manipulated, Aries. You're a leader for a reason, right? You make your own decisions. You make good decisions. You move forward. For the most part, it always depends on what's in your moon and your rising. Always, always. But at generally, you know, Aries is considered a leader and a good decision maker and somebody who is, you know, forthright, that kind of thing. But it does feel like this person's coming in with a little bit of manipulation. Now, I don't usually see the magician in, in the upright as manipulation, but it is giving me the energy of I'm using my magic in the 3D to have this new beginning. This person is going to test your boundaries that's what i feel they're going to test whatever boundaries you've put in place here because you two have been in an intimate relationship before but i feel like the reason that it broke up is because you realized this person was lying to you or there was some sort of deceit that you were detecting under under the um, surface here now it feels like this person possibly like it feels like it, it it sort of when this person contacts you i feel like it's going to put you in a place in your head and um and although maybe you don't have trouble sleeping i think that it's going to be seeping into your daily stuff right when you're trying to sleep um, maybe when you're working it's going to kind of take over the mind um we have the wheel of fortune here why is the wheel of fortune here 
as I feel like you've moved forward from this energy, um, but I feel like it almost, it's like it's it comes back to haunt you just a little bit because this person is from a past place that you no longer visit in your head or, or physically at all. We do have the King of Pentacles. Why is that? We have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Five of Cups. So I want to say that you have carried on. You've carried forward. Um, you're coming up here as as the uh, King of Pentacles here. Um, and I know that you are Aries, which is a fire sign. But it feels like you are the person who maybe has already settled down. Or it feels like you, you know, after... After they got out of the picture, it feels like you became the King of Pentacles, I want to say. You start re receiving opportunities to make money. I think you've become financially stable. I think you're ready to settle down. Maybe you've settled already, settled into some sort of a relationship with the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Maybe you're happier than you've ever been. It doesn't mean that you're in a relationship, but maybe you're just happy being single, right? And maybe you're still in, this, in the stage of looking, waiting to give somebody your pentacle here. I feel like things have moved forward for you in a very fortunate way. And although you've gone through a lot of changes, spreading your wings, wisdom and peace, you've gone through a lot of changes. I feel like this person brings up old wounds. And I want to say that as soon as they show up again, you start feeling or thinking about the regret of um, how it ended or the regret of you wished it could have worked out, but it didn't because you know that this person wasn't good for you. Your person could be an Aries as well. They also um, could be a, an earth sign, Scorpio. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo could be a fixed sign. Could be a Cancer. Take it as it resonates. Tell me about the Ace of Swords and the Chariot, please. This it feels like you have questions. This feels like a question mark. No, no clarity. We didn't really talk about it. Maybe, maybe somebody ran off with somebody else. It feels like we didn't get a chance to have closure. That's what it feels like here, that it moved too quickly and we didn't get a chance to have closure or somebody was keeping some things under the surface. This is cancer energy and cancer isn't usually comfortable with sharing all of their emotions on the surface. They're going to wait that out first, right? Um, kind of, uh, they'll, they'll probably wait it out for a long time. And uh, so it feels like there's been some things that are kind of under the surface in terms of feelings. And uh, the Ace of Swords in the reverse tells me either we haven't spoken or we didn't get all of it out. There was no closure. Uh, we do have the death card we have the high priestess and we have the five of wands so I want to say that one of the things that has changed about your wisdom is that you now have some sort of connection to your intuition here it does feel like what has what has transformed is your your ability to be able to listen to your intuition. I want to say that you're silent with this person, that you kind of just left them to their own devices, um, that there has been a transformation. And I think the transformation has been in your high priestess energy. You could have Pisces or Scorpio in the chart possibly, but the high priestess is one that remains silent and goes within. This person is probably someone who is quite psychic, a medium, maybe a tarot reader. They do deal in the esoteric world and um, they are very connected to source but always getting downloads. I feel like that's maybe something that has changed for you. Because it says wisdom, to me, it's somebody who is listening to the universe, somebody who's meditating. It's like you can't get these downloads unless you get into a silent place. So I feel like you've been practicing that, and I feel like that's been the transformation that, is, that has changed you so, so much here. Um, we do have the, the Five of Wands, which indicates that there is some sort of an internal struggle going on. It also is... Um, um, yeah, in, it's it's uh, sort of holding back, reserving judgment, maybe not saying what you want to say. So maybe you just reserve judgment and you didn't say what you wanted to say. It feels like something here is not finished, but I feel like this person is coming at you at a high rate of speed. I'm going to say if you haven't seen them yet, I feel like this person is coming at you at a high rate of speed. Tell me why the Ace of Swords is in the reverse for Aries, please. The Ace of Swords. So I feel... I feel as though what this person doesn't know is that you are in the Empress energy. And that probably wasn't 
a parent the last time that they saw you. So whether you are feminine or masculine, this is a feminine leaning energy, but also has masculine energy, right? The Empress. It is someone who is when they are present, all the energies of all the queens are present. They take energy from all of those queens to be very balanced. It is about wisdom. You don't get to be the Empress unless you learn the queens. Um, it is really important to get the wisdom. So we do have, um, we have the Six of Pentacles and we have the Strength card. So I feel like you've been holding back with this person, not giving them any reciprocity because maybe they were breadcrumbing you. Maybe they had other people in the DMs while they were talking to you. But I think that the Ace of Swords in the reverse is telling me that you didn't get any closure here. I want to say that that is something that made you grow. Whether you are feminine or masculine, I don't really care. We're not reading body parts here. But this energy here with the Empress tells me that you have really grown in your wisdom. You've grown to, to a place where you really don't need anybody. You're not really looking for a connection. That's what it feels like here. But I feel that there's still some feelings here. And that's the thing. I think that's where the five of wands is coming from that you're kind of fighting yourself internally because you know that you still are attracted to this person you know that there's still you know intimacy here like you are you had a a very a very good chemistry with them but you just don't trust them tell me why you don't trust them why do you think they are a liar we've got the emperor here tell me more about the emperor We've got the star and we've got the two of pentacles. So I feel that this person wasn't able to access their spiritual self. That's what it feels like here. As I look at this, it feels like they had blocked or they couldn't see the situation for what it was. It feels like they are wishful. They have wishful thinking. They're hoping, they're hoping that you're going to allow them into their life. And I think what they don't see is that you have, um, you have leveled up here. Now, the liar, I feel that you may think that the emperor is the liar and uh, you could be the empress here. And even though they look good from a distance and you've been hoping that that something would change, that somebody would level up here, I don't necessarily know that you trust this person. I feel like you blocked them and I feel like you're trying to block them from your life, but they're coming back and they hope that um, they hope that you are going to let them into your life. I feel like you, for some of you, you could have already moved on with an empress. If you're not the empress, you could have already moved on with an empress. But this person is coming back as an emperor. They're coming back as whether you're the emperor or the empress, they are coming back to you as somebody who is um, who has grown up for sure and who has learned some lessons. But look, they're still a liar. And that's the thing. I don't think you trust them. It doesn't. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean they're a liar, right? And uh, maybe they don't trust you. Maybe there was just no trust, but take it as it resonates. So let's take take a look at the eight of cups because it looks like in the second week here that you're going to be pulling away emotionally from something i said at the beginning of this reading i wonder if we're going to see the seven of wands and there it is placing your boundaries keeping people at arm's length i think you're going to keep this person at arm's length that's the realization i can't let them back in i can't let them back in to disturb my peace you've got peace here right they can't disturb my peace and freedom i feel like there is a realization that you must keep this person at arm's length in order to have any sort of happiness i feel like you are probably going to speak with this person i feel like they're still really attracted to you and and i feel like your realization is yeah they're still attracted to me and you're probably attracted to them as well but i think that for your own mental health your own well-being to or to keep this all this stuff that you've learned here i feel like you are moving forward yeah it feels like you have this realization right that's aries energy you have this realization uh the scorpionic energy it's like you were fighting it but you let the tower fall and you realize you have a realization that you just don't trust them and you got to keep them at arm's length so i I think that is something that you come up with in the second week of March. Bottom of the deck, yeah, I feel like you still have some sort of feeling for them. And it's been really hard to keep them on the outside looking in because they're coming at you with the Ace of Cups. I think that they're hoping that you'll fall back in love with them again. This person is incredibly attractive. They're very independent. I think it's the energy that you like because you're also fire. But this person could also be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or have that a placement. We do have... Um, uh, like I said, we have Taurus, Taurus and Libra here. We do have uh, Aries there. We do have um, 
uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. We have Gemini energy. Uh, Scorpio is here as well. We've got Piscean energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, more Aries energy. It's all over the place, right? Take it as it resonates, my friends. I'm going to leave it right here, and uh, I'll be back uh, for your read next week because I'm always back. Oh, and this, uh, this weekend coming up, you will have some monthly reads to deal with for March. Love you guys. I am going for now. Take, you, take care of yourself, and I'll be back because I'm always back. Bye-bye.